hailing from Dingley, and weighing in at 84 kilos, here's your MCW World Champion, the Loose Wedge Adam. Brooks never short on confidence. We're still getting the loose lead, but we spoke to him backstage, Nim. Brooksy is pissed off. We've been talking about the loose legacy ever since he won that title. It's been interrupted, but it's getting back on track. He has defended that belt successfully against Ricky South. He's put Caveman on counting lights, and of course, very famously, he put away a Danny Psycho as well in this very building. So this loose legacy is not just a catchphrase, this is something that Adam Brooks lives, breeds, and swears by. Yeah. And this is it. This ties up the loose end for Adam Brooks. If he can put away Moretti after what we've seen over the past couple of months between MCW and PWA. Adam Brooks has taken that belt around the country as well. And you've got to think about how much it would have been just burning Adam Brooks. Like you were talking about him building that legacy here. And... Uh, sorry guys, where'd Moretti go? I think he's up to his old tricks. I think he is. Or uh, he's bailed. Brooks is saying, I wonder where the flog is. <laughs> is that look? Oh guys, out the corner, out the corner here. Brooksy was ready for him here. Ring the bell, we are started. We are underway. Oh jeez, look at Adam Brooks. He is just firing out on him. All that pent up frustration. Giving him a talking Ooh. to as well. You know, over 2021, we saw, I feel, a very controlled Adam Brooks, someone that was focused um, on building his legacy, on dismantling his opponents. But tonight, there is a lot of heat to his movements, to his actions, to how he's feeling. I tried to get some words off him at the back. Usually, really agreeable, happy-go-lucky guy. Tonight, did not want a bar of me. Kicked me out of the locker room. And we're seeing him taking his uh, aggressions out on the soul of PWA champion here tonight. Well, Mick Moretti's the sort of guy that can get in, get under your skin psychologically. He's a fantastic talent in himself. He can wrestle till the cows come home. But he's just got under the skin of a guy like Adam Brooks, who's normally so calm and collected. Yeah, absolutely. Brooksy, uh, you know, very similar to, to Royce Chambers and someone that just you know, sort of cruises by. Uh, Lord, that is loves just to venom. have a bit of fun, but there is no fun about this at all. That is venom there in Adam Brooks. He is a peed off character right now. He's madder than a hornet right now. And you think about it, Moretti didn't even cost him the title. All he did was cost him a, a win. Some say it was worth more than the title, you know, proving who was better, MCW or Peter. Way. Brooks, no wasted movement here, straight out on Moretti. But that's the thing with Adam Brooks, you know, he can take a lot in stride, but if you mess with his life, and his life is his work, his life is wrestling, if you mess with that, you're going to get this other side of him right here. But Simon, one thing about Mick Moretti that we've seen in the past when he's been at the Thornbury Theatre is he can take a punishment. In fact, he applauds it, he wants it. So Brooks, he might just be feeding into what the Rapscallion wants. And is that almost his game plan? Kind oh. of a rope-a-dope. He can take so much punishment and he hopes you wear yourself out. Well, Brooksy just introduced him to the guardrail, so I don't know how good of a game plan that is. Uh, I, don't, I don't know too much about Brooksy getting worn out. This is, of course, man, we've seen him in MCW do Iron Man matches. Yep. Of course, that uh, three stages of hell match against Slex at MCW Homecoming went well over 45 minutes. Uh, tonight, he looks like he's trying to set a record pace here <laughs> in a title defense. But like you said, it's going to take a bit to put away Moretti. And there he is. For all of his crazy antics, for all of his mischief, Mick Moretti is an amazing professional wrestler. Oh! oh. Moretti okay. obviously loved the guardrail before and said, hey, Brooksy, you ought to check him out as well. Turnabout is definitely fair play here, lads. And that's what's scary about Moretti. He is as talented as a technician as he is a brawler. He's hard to figure out too, because at some point in time, you wonder where is his mind at? Is he, is he focused on the match? 
And then it's like a switch goes off. And as we're seeing right now, he's taking control of the MCW champion. That's what he wants you to think. That's what he wants his opponent to think, to lull them in that false sense of security that he's not taking it seriously. Oh, look at that. Just sitting there grinding his, uh, his stubble there and into the ear of, uh, of Adam Brooks. A hostile MCW crowd here in the Thornbury Theatre and Moretti is feeding off them. But let's talk about some of the intelligence. Oh my God. Oh, that's a good way to lose some brain cells. Yeah. This one's getting heated, boys. Let's talk about some of the intelligence of Mick Moretti. Sat there, I don't think he was entirely altruistic in helping PWA win that best of five series. He knows Adam Brooks. They've gone around the tracks together for years. He had to know that if he could get under his skin, that this might eventuate. That Brooks would want that retribution and Moretti would want a title shot to get it. So now, thanks to that interference, he's gotten a win for his promotion and now he might be getting himself an MCW Championship. Well, both men kind of have gotten what they want. Moretti gets the title shot. Adam Brooks gets to add to his loose legacy. Oh. Just... Here's what we see when we talk about Nick Moretti being a fantastic wrestler. He's looking for maybe a fisherman buster there. Sorry, keep going. He is just taking charge at the moment. Brooksy with a reversal there goes into the cover. Just a two. Moretti into the ropes and Brooksy introduces his knee straight to the face. Quick Irish rip into the other corner. Moretti dodges it. Oh. Yep, Moretti, he's not buying into those mind games, guys. We were talking about how much that they know each other, that they've been going around for years. And you saw it. He wasn't going to be put off by that head stand. However, he then rushed in to try and boot him, which Moretti was ready for to counter. So while it may not have affected Adam Brooks on the first level of freaking him out, it did make him enter into something that Moretti was able to counter. But have you noticed he's almost gone down the garden path? This is exactly where Mick Moretti wants Adam Brooks right now. And Simon, we've spoken to Brooksy on Wired, and we know how much heart this guy has. Sometimes that overrides his brain just a little bit, and I think he's caught himself short. And Moretti is trying to play into that. We saw it with the mind games on his entrance. He feigned slipping. Was that part of the trick? He went under the ring. He knows that Brooks knows he was under the ring. Brooks powers is... him into the corner, though. Trying to rally, shoulder charge, and another. Big, heavy, hard moves from Brooks there. Goes to the Irish whip, the reversal. Moretti measuring him up, comes in now. Oh, Brooks went to kick the legs out from under him. Moretti live, oh, oh, he's got him trapped now. Oh! Took the time there to taunt him before going to deliver the blow, and Moretti was ready. Oh, Moretti in the tree of woe at the moment. I'm, I'm wondering again though, guys, is he really in trouble? Is he really in danger? <laughs> you never know with Mick Moretti. If he's able to get him, he might claw his eyes out of him. Oh, oh. oh. Now here's a bit of that loose ledge we know and love. Oh. <laughs> Just toying him with him there. Getting ready, hesitation, drop kick. Right in the midsection. Freeze Moretti slams him down. Brooks the cover here. And Moretti somehow manages to dig deep. This match started off at such a frantic pace. Just that anger that Brooks was fueled by. You saw the way he was running the ropes, running into each corner. Now, now he's slowing it down a bit. Maybe going for some more higher impact. Oh! But again, he's getting caught up with wanting to tell Moretti, you're in my house, things like that. It's giving him that moment to get in. Oh. Floats over. Gets a pretty old oh, backstabber there. Moretti really feeling it. Reverberating all through him here. Brooks spins him around, looking for a neck breaker. No. Oh. And Brooksy is rallying, the crowd is getting behind him. Now, a lot of the time, Brooksy will target the midsection to help him out for that swanton that he likes to hit. Tonight, he's maybe going for the knockout here, constantly attacking Moretti's head. Quick cover. 
Well, it makes sense. Moretti plays mind games. Take out the mind. <laughs> Rattle him. And look how smart that is from Moretti. Kicks out at two and gets out of the ring to safety, but unfortunately, it's not too safe. Oh, another massive blow to the head. The DDT, amazing. How much has Brooks taken out of himself, though? Doesn't hesitate. Gets up, throws him into the ring. Already slowly to his feet. Brooks takes to the top rope. Up he goes, Meteora. Oh! Drives him down. Cover now. And again, Moretti digs deep and finds something to kick out. How about these welts that are just forming all over Mick Moretti's body, guys? He has taken an absolute beating and he's still up. He's still not down. He's got life left in him. Getting ready. Moretti catches him up top. Don't know what he might be thinking of here. Perhaps a superplex off the top. A quick counter there from Brooks. Yeah, he's really got to hang on to it here. He can't take a blow like that and slide into the match. Sends him down. Brooks up again. Looking for another Meteora. Pulls out of it. Lands on his feet. Ducks under. Rolls Moretti up. Goes with that kick to the face. Oh, look at the eyes of Moretti. <laughs> Laughs at him. Fantastic forearm there to the face. Moretti's starting to feel it now. This will be the fisherman buster. No, not able to hit it again. Another forearm from Brooks. Perhaps looking for it himself? No. They are just trading elbows here at the moment. It is back and forth. Moretti once again with the fisherman. Oh, no, still can't do it. Brooks clearly has that move scouted. He must be fearing uh, the potential of what it is because he's fighting it with all he's worth. Get him up. Both men going back and forth. Fighting for this position. A dueling. Someone's got... Oh! Well, if, if you can't suplex one another, a shot to the face is probably good enough. Here we go, hooking up again. Boxy! Oh! oh! Dropped him on head across knee. the knee. Doesn't even go for the cover. Out onto the apron here. Brooks might be thinking Swanton. Jeez, how much would it have taken out of him? All of those suplex attempts. Oh! oh! The knees up the back of the neck and the shoulders into it. Dragon Sleeper! Dragon Sleeper! Center of the ring! He might even tap or he might go out to sleep here. I can't see how it's locked in from my vantage point. Referee Edwin Lay right there checking with the champion, seeing if he wants to continue. We mentioned even though Moretti's got the mind games, he also is a fantastic professional wrestler. He has got Brooksy picture perfect here in this sleeper. He's in the middle he, of the ring. He lost the body hooks there, but now he's floated over, getting that torque on it as well. But while rolling, while trying to get those hooks back in, Brooks was able to roll through to the ropes has to break the hold there. Now that was some luck and skill for Brooksy to be in that position to get to the ropes to regain a chance in this match. A, a, a sleeper like that, even though it didn't put Brooks out, he is going to be very foggy and groggy right now. It's a perfect time for Moretti to capitalise. Brooks recognising that floats around, back elbow there. Goes onto his head, catches him in, roll up! No! Oh! oh. And now we're seeing Moretti lose the call now. Here's the Fisherman Buster. And there it is. It connects. That could be it. This is it. We've got it. No. Brooksy's still in it. Yeah, Moretti feels that one now. He really was putting some eggs in that basket. That's Moretti. the will to win. I don't think after what happened at Worlds Collide, Adam Brooks is coming into the Thornbury Theatre and going down to Mick Moretti. Well, look at Mick Moretti right now. He's, he almost looks like he's exhausted all of his options. He's contemplating, what do I do? Getting ready in the corner here. I don't know if he's thinking super good. Oh, I do know that he had one of Moretti's moves, a curb stomp, got him lined up. Oh, did go the super kick in the end. Ooh, now Moretti going up top. Moretti, swaps oh! of his own, well, misses. Brooksy knowing how to scout that one. Setting him up. Oh! Back 
backbreaking powerbomb combo there. Backstabber, I should say, to put away Moretti. But that is the level that it takes when you go for the MCW Championship. A very defiant Moretti at the moment. He's showing Brooksy, you have not broken me yet. And Brooksy looks to have snapped. Moretti was able to shove him off. And look at this, that fire, that anger is still burning inside Brooks here. Oh. oh Moretti floats over. Oh, headbutt right on the chin. There we go, German. Floats it over the dragon. That's a series of unfortunate events. Cover here. Oh. And a kick out with authority from Brooksy. That belt is not going to Sydney as long as Adam Brooks is champion. And what a way to kick off 2022 here in MCW with a world title match like this. Brooksy is taken. He has not got up yet. He is still face down. Mick Moretti scouting. Brooksy slowly gets to his feet. The defiance. And Moretti straight to his feet first. Jesus. Heads towards the corner. Oh, oh, there's there's a, oh my god, did you see the angle of his neck? A violent curb stomp there. That ought to do it. No! And Moretti looks. He's, he's in disbelief. I don't blame him. I'm in disbelief as well. But it, Has it, Adam Brooks moved? No, he hasn't. But that's what he's doing. He's, con he's conserving his energy for when he hears that ref's hand coming down for the one, two, three. If he's not being pinned, save that energy. Get it ready for a counter or an attack of your own. There's that counter, catches the foot. Now he's got him literally on the back foot here. Look at the eyes of Brooks here. Sends him around, spins around with the elbow. Ducks under, floats over again. Oh, another kick to the head. Oh, forearm to the back of the head, cover. Kicks out. Well, he's going here. What's this? Oh! Cross face. Cross face. Adding something in. But you know what? Maybe this is what all the, the attacks to the head were. Maybe it was building to this moment for him. Brooks added a new feather in his cap with the cross face. Already desperately trying to make it to the right, but he's, too, he's clawing his way towards him. He's reaching out, just fingertips away. Oh, oh Brooksy, very smart there from Adam Brooks, the more MCW into, champion. More into like a rings of satin type maneuver. Moretti now, he's gonna have to try. Oh, he gets on it with his oh, head, bites whoa. on it. I mean, usually it's trying to pivot your hips out, push through some of that pain to try and get a leg under the ropes. Moretti there, just literally biting his way to freedom. And Brooksy's stalking at the moment. Already trying to regroup. Brooks is up to his feet first. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. Had him well scouted, but look, Moretti's still just hanging on. And Moretti knew if Brooks hit that pole driver, could be lights out. The pace and the physicality they've been going with, something has got to give sooner rather than later here. I don't think this is going to be like an Iron Man match. I don't think this is going to be one of those 45. Oh! Jeez. Oh. Brooksy's head, Adam Brooks's face, straight to the apron. It bent at a 90 degree angle. And yet he still manages to find a way to kick out at, with milliseconds away from a three count. Moretti cannot believe this. Senior referee Edwin Lay was right there to count the fall. Definite kick out there. I think Brooksy's hurt. <laughs> Brooksy's clawing. That's the best thought you've had all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's struggling to get to the... Moretti toying with him. Oh! oh. <laughs> Brooksy, return serve. Bit of mind games of his own. Oh! Oh, oh Jesus! I thought he was going out. Thank goodness he didn't. Brooks now. No. Oh, oh. destroy it to the outside. Far Brooks, he rolls him back into the ring. You know what's coming next. Goes to the top rope. Can he hit it this time? Game over, boys. And still.
Here is your winner. And still the MCW World Champion, the Loose Ledge Adam Brooks. What a classic we just witnessed. I don't know if it's passe in 2022 to call something a banger, but that was a banger. Add the name Nick Marie to the list of people that have been counting the lights at the hands of Adam Brooks. The loose legacy continues. And uh, we've kind of got a ringside yeah, view. We got, got Moretti right here in front of us. He does not know where he is. His eyes are fluttering open, but he does not know where he is. I'm hoping he finds his way to the back. I'm thinking referee. <laughs> How is either man moving at all? What an absolute war. And Adam Brooks basks in the glow of the Thornbury Theatre faithful at the moment. The real story here is the aberration has been avenged. The loose legacy is back on track. Adam Brooks, still your MCW world champion. Who is gonna be the next chapter of the loose legacy?